Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Global Snapshot for the month of March. As our mission to Ukraine started a month ago, immediately after the Russian invasion to the peaceful Ukraine started, we had to do something about it as one free world international. Thanks to all our members, all our supporters, and all our volunteers here in Ukraine, in Poland, and uh, in Canada, uh, One Free World International was able to act very quickly and very swiftly, and we was able to land in Poland a few days later. We was able to visit the shelters there, get in the border, visit the shelter there as well, uh, meet with many of the refugees that cross the border, uh, estimated to 100,000 refugees per day just in Poland. Right now, the estimation goes to more than 3 million refugees worldwide, and this number is increasing. After that, we started an operation inside Ukraine itself, and I want to thank all our teams, all our supporters, and all our security that accompanying us in this dangerous mission. Uh, we was able to get to military hospital, visit the wounded soldiers, uh, get to orphanage, uh, where we was able to support many of the kids there uh, with the special needs and go to the orphanage in, uh, uh, in, in both in uh, Lviv and outside of Lviv. Uh, we was able as well to present your support and your love and your financial support to our, uh, uh, to our Ukrainian friends that in need in the shelter. I was able to spend the night with them in the shelter and it was an amazing experience. So I stayed with them in the shelter side by side with them all night. Through the night there was explosions, there was uh, sirens, there was attacks from the Russians, but we returned home safe and sound with the blessings of your prayers and your care. So we thank God for that and we thank God that we was able to come back to report to you this is the end of the first mission and the first trip, but not the end of the operation. The operation continue. As we are talking right now, we need to continue our humanitarian aid. The need is greater than you can ever imagine. As we are talking right now, we are also getting more of the medical aid and medical equipment to the military hospital there. And we are providing more than 500 laptop computers to the orphanage in Ukraine. Uh, as it stands right now, we want to thank you for your love and your support. It's a major operation that not one organization can take care of it. And I know that you've always been there for us, all the way from the Yazidi uh, and the Christian genocide in Iraq and in Syria against ISIS, to the war in Armenia, all the way to Afghanistan and now Ukraine. So I thank you for your loyalty, not to us, but to the Lord and to the work, the important work that we do. We are your voice and we are your hand. And we'll make sure that we take your prayers and your support to the people that they are in need. I ask from you to watch us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We thank you for your commitment and we thank you that we'll continue this hard road and we'll not give up. We'll continue supporting the people in need wherever they are. God bless.